myself be tricked like this. she lived. I would say below poverty line. If not for the fact that I've crossed the poverty line a hundred levels up, somehow I have to find her. The question is, what are my taxes being spent on? I don't even have a bar here. Focus, James. Sarah needs electricity, and lots of it. These converters look new. Let's see. I'll say this. Cables come out of the converter. Sarah, where are you? of the antenna. It must be operational. Sarah needs to communicate somehow. We need to get a closer look. here. Let's go. What is this place? Creepy, Sarah. What? Why is Sarah play so creepy?
easy target. Give it up! You're trapped! <laughs> Funny! You're the one bleeding. How did you find her? Drop, Drop your, your weapon, weapon. I'll, I'll let, let you live! live. What have you done to her? Talk! Drop your weapon and get out! I'm counting to three! One! Let's settle this one on one! Whoa! James, James, can you hear me? What the fuck? Okay, okay. Cool it now. It's me, Sarah. We're good, we're good. Just relax. What in the actual fuck's going on? I thought some junkie broke into my house. Sorry. I'm almost finished stitching you up. Could you almost finish faster? <laughs> How'd you find me? You know I'm a detective, right? I didn't think anyone would bother trying to find me. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Stay still. Why did you come here? When we lost contact, I thought he got you. So that's why you busted in here like a psycho? On a hunch? A little more than a hunch. Meaning? I have some questions, too. One, actually. You should be in your first shell. The comfortable and efficient one. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Someone's fallen into bad company here. This body must have been through half a century of addiction. It'll drop dead before I get used to it. So are you going to tell me where you got it? My family thinks I'm away. I got the best synthesizer, remote work equipment. I didn't have to explain myself to anyone. And then fucking James Kara had to waltz in here and ruin everything! I'm good at that. So what have you gotten yourself into? It's a long story. And complicated. Good thing I'm a professional at complicated stories. Talk. <sighs> I didn't want to. But I had no choice. I... I did something sketchy, but otherwise... It's all right. You can trust me. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I rented my body on the black market. Oh, look who's holier than fuck. I wasn't expecting Sarah to uh, be like this, to be honest. What are these figurines? <sighs> They're memories. 
I've read that after an Icarite transplant, especially an illegal one, some can be lost. That one's the most valuable. Okay. You have good taste. Oh, it belonged to Max, my sister. She's into old school stuff. You two would get along. Uh, because I'm old. bad. Taylor and I hit upstairs where you came in. And back then it was just a two by three foot hole that ended in a wall of rubble. Instead of sitting in the cold with her teeth chattering like any normal person, Taylor started fiddling with the flashlight. Something flashed in the pile of rubble, so we started digging. And we dug until we unearthed this little Statue of Liberty figurine. It was beaten up, but looked valuable. And we fenced it right away. And we came back here hoping to find more. fast in the slums, because you can either afford children, or you can afford new bodies. Not both. I was ahead of my family by the time I was 15. We found out there used to be a museum here. So we dug more. Day after day, until our hands were bloody. But we kept digging. For normal people. It's a portrait of misery. Desperation. But... adventurers on a fucking treasure hunt. We glued, fixed, and sold everything we found. Would you believe we, we excavated this whole place like a pair of underage slum archaeologists? It must have taken a while. Almost five years, but it was our livelihood. We were dirt poor and surrounded by dirt, but we felt rich. At least until Taylor tricked me. Eight years ago, give or take a few days. Sister? No. We were in love. I remember exactly when she tricked me, because it was when I turned 21. Her subscription. And Taylor paid for it for me. She did it behind my fucking back. After a month, her subscription expired. We were broke. There was no one to help. She wound up in the bank. And the body went to auction. And that's why I have to get her out. No matter what it takes. You get it now? anywhere anything higher octane I'll pour us something or you can also help yourself to ambrosia in the bedroom okay
remember it. <laughs> this is older than me. Okay, so I guess Brandy has been helping herself to. James, aren't you afraid your memories will eventually fade away? Lucky me. I don't fade. They haunt me more literally than I'd like. You must have some good ones. At least one. We're at the movies, and... Rachel tries to convince me it's a crime flick she's already seen. They were all the same to her, and of course she's teasing me, and I'm trying to watch the fucking movie. Right now, I'd give anything to be sitting there next to her. I'd focus all my attention on her. Maybe then you wouldn't remember it. Maybe it's the imperfect moments that create the most precious memories. This one room, the bedroom, is totally secure. It's a slum, but I gotta be able to close my eyes sometimes. It's possible to break in there with enough effort, but I'd have time to be awake and ready. And shoot the shelf above the burglar? I'd have time to reload and finish the piece of shit. In the middle of the room was a bunch of files with names. Can't you respect anyone else's privacy? I said none of the siblings knew. If something went wrong, I prepared myself for it. But what's one have to do with the other? I sorted things out for them and left a will that made it clear I believed Taylor and I would be in heaven at the bank. Looks like you covered all the bases. Nice work. Thanks. I try. Have you read Chicken of Justice? There is no way you know this. The last of his kind. He could give up, but he fights for a better world for the rest of us. A true hero. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. My brother Dario was crazy about him. I already like this kid. The chicken is only one step away from detective stories. So how did a slum girl get this job? Maybe you got yours. I had to work for it. Points for determination. Must not have been easy for you. Fortunate combo. I had insomnia and hated wasting my time. I guess that's how I managed to pass all the exams. What are we drinking to? Well, you're the expert. Sit down and make a toast. I hope this isn't a tough question. Sarah, how are Max, Dario, and Peter now? I wasn't talking... I saw the name on the cabinets. Did they... Don't worry. They're all alive. And doing pretty well. They rented a legal apartment, floor 40. They have better air than here. Bodies wear out slower. Did our department come for Taylor? Yes. So why... Did I join you? Maybe I wanted to take control? Of some sort. I decided I was never gonna be powerless like that again. I'm just a liaison, but I already know when and where they move. Do you know who it was? Which one of us came for Taylor? It was hard to resist the temptation to check it out. Wanna get some revenge? He was so ordinary. A regular agent. To really get justice, I'd have to get revenge on this whole sick fucking system.
Taylor comes first. Bottoms up. Honesty. I think we're gonna need it. Okay. What are you renting the body for? Surrogate for some rich broad. A good one, I hope. Interesting. Sarah, please tell me it's not Jane Salma. I found her file. Ugh, calm down. I checked her. I got to her. She had a similar case before, and they couldn't prove anything, even with plenty of evidence. Oh, damn it. The arrangement came from me. She had the dough, I had the body with the right biological conditions, plus I could cover for her. That's why I know she's not a suspect. Okay. I'll trust you. At least I'll try. Much appreciated. All right. So, you rented your body. Where did you get this one? Salma said it was recycled. Give one to me. No. A recycled body? After what I've seen, that's hard to swallow. They must have put someone on ice for you to get it. No, no, no. Somebody bought a new body, and no one wanted this one. Okay. Let's say you're right. It's definitely recycled. Why would they lie about that? Mm -hmm. You need to see the big picture of what you've gotten yourself into. James, I have nightmares. Every single fucking night. I see her in them. Welcome to the club. Every morning, I wake up from them and Taylor can't. And it haunts me. What if she's trapped there in an endless nightmare? not sleep when you're in the bank. It's nothingness. You don't feel anything. Like transferring in CTC? I remember what you said. You said you'd rather die than go to the bank. But for different reasons, remember? James, I have to save her! Fuck! You understand? You know my deal. No one stays on the right path forever. But maybe it's worth fighting to stay on it while you can. Otherwise you're left with nothing. Trust me. I know. Guess I didn't expect words like that out of you. Maybe you should stop before it's too late. Yeah? Just let her rot in the bank? After what she gave for me? Few years is a lot to you, but you have eternity to pull her out. Keep going like this, and you might never get the chance to spring her. Fuck off. Truth hurts, huh? Take it or leave it. Press your finger. I can handle it. Interesting. Like, the entire story, they're fascinated in how it's been played out. Sarah, we need to start investigating. Just a minute. Not so fast. One more question. 
A basic one. Yeah. Why don't you tell me why you stormed in here like a lunatic? I told you, I thought you were in danger. Based on what? Did something happen when we lost contact? Mm -hmm. Can you fire up the board here? No. We'll do it the old way then. In the meantime, I'll summarize the Red Room for you. The Red Room? It's a piece of fucked up history. Better buckle up. <sighs> I can't believe all this evidence. You were right from the start. Seriously? What surprises you most? That's not what I meant. But the murderer was behind everything from the beginning. Did he take over his body? Strong assumption. We better go one step at a time. Now? You're going to get skeptical now? I just want to sort it out. Okay. Where do we start? How do you deal with that kind of desynchro? And how do you deal with it? I don't know if I'm the best example. James, I managed to get what was in Green's safe. There were recordings of his synchro tests and a ton of private notes. It's pretty unusual. Upload. I learned this was the plan for the next hundred years. Numerous attempts to save what we have and this system. And our system isn't perfect? At least for them. Turns out not to be the case. Apparently, every prediction ended in disaster. Interesting. such revenge. The world would be a better place. I wonder if you can connect to this one. Oh my God. control of yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of consciousness erosion. We'll increase the dose of ambrosia and the amount of synchro tests. It should help. I need something better. We don't have anything else yet. I'm working on it. It's one big joke. Selma sounds familiar, don't you think? Shit. I thought she was gonna get herself a synthesizer. If synchro tests have a positive effect, then maybe there is something that does the opposite. Okay. shown on the symbols. The problem is that Green's date of death was carved long ago. And it all comes down to this? Fucking why? Art for art's sake? Oh, 
haven't heard that before. Good to know you still have feelings for them. They didn't die because of money. Yeah, they had plenty of it. There had to be another reason. Why didn't we have access to these recordings? They were in the Red Room. I'll try to get to them. There may be no evidence that they made a transfer of consciousness at the time of the incident, but his behavior... I know, it's damn suspicious. Let's just put it together piece by piece. big names of the corpses at our feet. What are they doing there? Apart from the obvious. Together they worked on how to calm the riots. How to use the fourth estate. Who knows if they would have failed. Dickheads. Lots of familiar faces, but compared to Green, they're small fry. It's their mouth that spits out lies that millions eat up. people who can deal with the chaos in this city? Am I? No. But I think that's what Green is trying to tell us. Do you buy it? Well, this motherfucker knew corruption and power like no one else. Okay, whether it was Green's will or someone else was pulling the strings, why did Green have to die? I see at least two, uh, no, three possibilities. Can you be more specific, Miss Detective? I'm throwing them in. Since the most influential players are more or less dead, their seats are up for grabs. Following this lead, Green didn't have to be the only one like that. The whole thing may simply have been about tearing the city apart. Green was the last person who could stop the spreading chaos. I wonder if his death was a crime of passion, or if it was planned. One? No. Yeah, sometimes I'm just adding, I'm just trying to add stuff to see how it works. I would say the orphanage. James, we're drifting. Taking a circuitous route to our goal. Maybe it's like a chill pill. does it take to set up something like that? I don't know, but we need to figure out who's pulling the strings in all of this. Man, this green stuff is wild. And you? Why do you become a cop? Work well under pressure, resistant to stress, ability to assess situations quickly. Only the commander instead of a coach, and the field's a bit bigger. And that's all? I believed in justice. And shit like that. But you don't anymore? <laughs> Come on, grow up. Who asks questions like that? Especially after all the shit we've seen. Okay. 
Let's try to draw some conclusions. Honestly, I see two main possibilities. Or we're just seeing a small part of a bigger plan. By someone who's always two steps ahead of us. Or Green's plan played out with Kovalev's help. Mm-hmm. How do you figure? Fuck, I don't know. He has access to some advanced tech. He managed to make contact with you in the Red Room. He knew everything that happened. Like he was in Green's head. I, I thought Green just committed suicide, but now I'm having a tough time buying that. Sorry, I've got a lot of thoughts. What do you think? Who's behind all this? Murderer or Green? The more important the decision, the less certain, huh? <sighs> We're out of time for mistakes. was behind it. murder of Chris I was, I was saying murder but I feel like that would be too easy to say the murderer why would green kill himself though that's a question let's say green I'll admit our alleged killer knows a lot but we don't have enough evidence that taking control of bodies is even possible green wouldn't be so easy to manipulate he held this city by the balls for hundreds of years. Seems he decided to go out in a blaze of glory and burn it all down. If Green planned it all, then what role did the killer play in everything? So, what's his next step? The motherfucker leaves no trace. The trail's cold. Why haven't we heard of him before? He's a pro, after all. Hmm. Criminals are still in their learning curve when they do their first crimes. They leave more traces behind. I'll check similar poisoning cases in recent years. No. Poison may have been removed from reports. Check the final death. Interesting. Just in point. Oh, I think I have something. Two weeks. No. Shit. I was wrong. Forget it. Sarah? Rewind. You can't touch your own case, or reconstruct it, or explain it. You can't defend yourself. I'm the only one who can. Oh, the fucking savior of the world. Can't you let go just this once? You know the answer. Damn you. Hang on. I have to... What's this? A new earpiece. This one shouldn't be so easy to spot. Ah. 